to Somalia now where a terror attack on a hotel killed at least 14 people. It started with a suicide car bombing at the hotel gate. Witnesses say gunmen then rushed in shooting people at random and taking hostages. Security forces arrived ending the siege. The Islamic extremist group Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility. And back here at home, a day whitewater rafting turned to tragedy for a young girl on a church trip in North Carolina. Her death came weeks after her visit, but it has now been linked to something that was in that water. Here's ABC's Adrian Banker. Shock and grief following the sudden death of 18-year-old Lauren Seitz, the recent high school graduate falling gravely ill after whitewater rafting on a church trip in North Carolina. Health officials blaming her death on a rare infection caused by a brain-eating amoeba. This is a very, very tragic situation, and, and we, are, we are very sorry. County health officials saying the CDC took water samples on Wednesday. Water sports still allowed. Then Friday, all white water activities suspended after local officials said a majority of samples showed amoeba in preliminary results. Staff members blowing whistles calling rafters out of the water. Water got in my face in the rafting, so yeah, I'm very concerned. I'm very surprised that this park was not closed down for one minute at all. When the amoeba found in lakes, ponds, and rivers strikes, it's usually deadly if it travels to the brain. There have been 138 cases in the last six decades, only three people surviving. The water gets driven up into my nose. Now the amoeba are there, and they get stuck up against my mucous membranes and able are able to then work their way into my brain. The Whitewater Center calling its filtration system state of the art. The facility in North Carolina now working with federal and local health officials and expressing sympathies to the teen's family. Cecilia? Okay, Adrian, thank you.